Behind the scenes of air travel, little known secrets revealed. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to take you on a fascinating journey through some little known airplane travel facts. Flying is such a common mode of transportation, but there are still so many interesting things to discover about it. So let's dive right into this informative video on some lesser known facts of airline travel, including the popular question of why do airlines board the front passengers first instead of the people sitting in the back? Hidden sleepers. Picture this, you're on a long haul flight and the cabin crew is taking care of your needs with a warm smile. But did you know that during these lengthy journeys, while you're comfortably seated in your cozy spot, the flight attendants and pilots also need some rest? Well, it's true. On many long distance flights, especially those spanning over 10 hours, airplanes are equipped with a secret sleeping compartment for the flight crew. These crew rest areas are ingeniously hidden from passengers' views, usually located above the passenger cabin. They can be accessed via special doors or discrete staircases, and the rest areas are designed to provide a comfortable and quiet space where pilots and flight attendants can take turns getting some much needed rest during the flight. Rest areas vary depending on the airline and aircraft type. Some are equipped with bunk beds while others have individual lie flat seats. This ensures that the crew remains well rested and alert throughout the flight, ensuring your safety and comfort in the air. Rare pets on board. We all know that passengers can bring their furry friends like cats and dogs on board some flights, but did you also know that some airlines also permit passengers to travel with even more unusual pets? Yes, that's right. While it's essential to check with your specific airline's policies, some carriers allow small domesticated animals like rabbits, hamsters, even birds to travel in the cabin with their human companions. It's a heartwarming sight to see passengers with their little animal friends comfortably nestled in carriers under their seats. Of course, there are certain rules and restrictions in place to ensure the safety and well-being of all passengers and pets. Most airlines require pets to remain in carriers throughout the flight and may have limitations on the number of animals allowed in the cabin. Additionally, specific breeds may be restricted due to safety concerns. Traveling with pets can bring comfort to many passengers, especially those who are anxious about flying. It's incredible to see how airlines accommodate these adorable travel companions. The Mystery of Seat 17A if you're a frequent flyer or a keen observer of seat numbering on airplanes, you may have noticed that some planes don't have a row 17. It might seem puzzling at first, but there's a reason behind this omission. Contrary to popular belief, the absence of row 17 isn't due to superstition or any specific cultural reasons. Instead, it's primarily a design decision made by airlines for practical reasons. In certain aircraft configurations, such as those with emergency exit rows, airlines chose to skip row 17 to prevent confusion among passengers. Emergency exit rows have more leg room, making them highly desirable for many travelers. By removing row 17, which is usually a standard seating row, airlines eliminate the possibility of passengers mistakenly thinking it's an exit row when it's not. Additionally, some airlines may choose to renumber rows to accommodate changes in cabin layout or class configurations, further adding to the mystery of seat numbering. Why boarding from the front? Now let's address one of the most common questions about air travel. Why do airlines board passengers from the front of the plane first? Wouldn't it be faster to start from the back? It's a logical question, but the boarding process is carefully designed for efficiency and convenience, taking into account various factors that impact the overall flow of passengers. So reason number one, preparing the cabin. Before boarding even begins, airlines must prepare the aircraft for its next flight. This includes cleaning the cabin, restocking the galley with food and beverages, and conducting essential safety checks. By starting boarding from the front, passengers can begin entering the aircraft as soon as these preparations are complete, rather than having them wait at the gate. The efficiency of this process ensures a smoother transition between flights and minimizes delays caused by logistical issues. Reason number two, seating and overhead space. When passengers board the plane, they often store their carry-on luggage in the overhead bins nearest to their seats. When boarding starts from the front, passengers seated in those areas have priority access to the overhead compartments, which significantly reduces congestion in the aisles. On the other hand, if boarding were to start from the back, passengers might find the overhead bins in that area already full, leading to the inconvenience of stowing their belongings further up. This would cause a domino effect as people move forward to find space for their luggage. First class and special needs. 
Boarding from the front allows airlines to give priority to certain groups of passengers, such as first class travelers, passengers with special needs, families traveling with young children, and frequent flyers. This prioritization ensures that those who need additional time or assistance get settled comfortably first, preventing potential bottlenecks later in the boarding process. Reason number four, speed and efficiency. You may not think it, but lastly, boarding from the front it tends to be more efficient overall. Passengers can easily find their seats without having to maneuver through a crowd of people who are still looking for their row. The orderly progression from front to back allows the airline staff to manage the process more effectively. In recent years, some airlines have also adopted alternative boarding methods like zone-based or group-based boarding, which can further optimize the boarding process and improve passenger satisfaction. The windowless mystery. Have you ever noticed that some airplane bathrooms are windowless? It might seem like an odd design choice, but there's a good reason behind it, and it has to do with fuel efficiency. On certain modern aircraft, like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, engineers have made conscious design decisions to improve fuel efficiency and reduce the overall weight of the aircraft. One such decision involves minimizing the number of windows in non-passenger areas, such as lavatories. The windows on an airplane are essential for providing passengers with a view outside and maintaining an open and airy cabin atmosphere. However, each window does add weight to the aircraft and collectively they can have a noticeable impact on fuel consumption. By reducing the number of windows in areas like bathrooms where views are unnecessary, airlines can save weight and consequently reduce the fuel needed for each flight. This not only contributes to cost savings, but also has a positive environmental impact by reducing carbon emissions. The mystery of dimming lights during takeoff and landing. Have you ever wondered why the cabin lights are dim during takeoff and landing? It's not just to set a calm ambience, there's a safety reason behind this practice. During critical phases of the flight, such as takeoff and landing, the cabin lights are dimmed to enhance passengers' vision adjustment in case of an emergency. If something were to go wrong during these crucial moments and the lights were suddenly turned off, our eyes would already be adjusted to the darkness outside the plane. This precaution ensures that passengers' eyes are better equipped to deal with the emergency situation, making it easier for them to see and react to potential hazards outside the aircraft. So the next time you experience dimmed lights during takeoff or landing, know that it's a thoughtful safety measure by the airline. The Secrets of Airplane Food We've all heard jokes and complaints about airplane food, but do you know why it might taste different at 35,000 feet? There's an interesting science behind it. First of all, the low humidity and air pressure in the cabin can dull our sense of taste and smell. To combat this, airlines often add extra seasoning and flavor to their meals, making them taste more vibrant at altitude. Additionally, the way our taste buds perceive flavors can change due to the dry cabin environment. Sweet and salty tastes may be intensified, while sour and bitter flavors can be subdued. To cater to passengers' palates, airlines carefully design their in-flight menus with these taste-altering factors in mind. Lastly, food served on airplanes is often prepared well in advance and stored in special ovens on board. While airlines make every effort to serve meals that taste as fresh as possible, the reheating process can affect the texture and taste of certain dishes. So the next time you savor a meal at 35,000 feet, you'll understand the science and care that goes into creating a delightful dining experience on board. The real purpose of those winglets. If you've ever looked out of the airplane window and noticed the upturned tips at the end of the wings, you might be wondering what those winglets are for. Well, they serve a critical purpose in modern aircraft design. Winglets are those distinctive vertical extensions at the wingtips of many airplanes. They might appear to be just aerodynamic enhancements, but their function goes beyond aesthetics. One of the primary reasons for using winglets is to improve fuel efficiency. Winglets reduce what's known as induced drag, which is the aerodynamic drag produced as a result of lift generation. By mitigating induced drag, winglets help the aircraft fly more efficiently, saving fuel and reducing carbon emissions. Additionally, winglets also enhance stability during flight, especially during long-haul journeys or when encountering turbulent weather conditions. They contribute to smoother rides for passengers and a more stable flight experience overall. So the next time you gaze out at those winglets, you'll appreciate the ingenuity and engineering behind this simple yet effective feature that makes air travel more environmentally friendly and comfortable. 
We hope you've enjoyed this eye-opening journey through some lesser-known airplane travel facts, from hidden crew rest areas to the secrets of airplane food and the mysteries of winglets. The world of aviation is truly full of surprises. Next time you board a flight, you'll have a wealth of knowledge to share with your fellow passengers, making your travel experience even more exciting and engaging. If you found this video informative and entertaining, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thank you for joining us and until next time, happy travels and blue skies ahead. Keep questioning. Humbling reminder of the grandeur and majesty of these ancient living giants. If you ever stand in the presence of a coast redwood, remember that you're standing beside a true natural wonder that dwarfs even the largest animals ever